In this video, I'm going to demonstrate using Title Block Manager to manage your Title Block text. Your 97 sheet project is getting a new sheet added to it. That makes 98, and the new sheet is going to slide right in at number 16. Now you have 98 Title Blocks to go and manually change. Or how about this one? You're right at the tail end of the project, and it turns out the Title Block template you've been using from the last project isn't going to cut it. The client decides now is a good time to give you the title block you were supposed to be using all along. You're going to need to fill in all new title block values for every sheet. Wouldn't it be great to have some way to automate updating your title block values? Well, it just so happens there is something that will do just that. Uh, you'll see here I have a title block administrator already loaded. And uh, when you install Axiom software, you get an Axiom pull down menu here. And here is where you'd you would uh, load a title block administrator. So the first thing I'm going to do is basically extract the contents of this title block, um, including some others, which I'll show you in a moment, uh, and extract them to a database so that they can be easily managed. Uh, you'll notice here the action I have set is update database from select a design file. So all I need to do here is select as many files as it is that I want to uh, extract the title block data from. And I'm just going to do this and right click, browse for files. And I've got five files here we want to process. Pop those in there, easy enough. And now you can see there's a list of five files to process. Uh, the next thing is the database, uh, which is really the Excel spreadsheet. The reason we call it a database is because when we first made this product, uh, we allowed you to uh, extract to access as well. There may be some people still out there who want to do that, but um, it, almost everybody in the in the world here is using an XLS because it's just so easy to use. So you'll see I have already assigned a location. Now, this database doesn't actually exist. And let me show you that. Um, it's a little difficult there, but you can see program data, Axiom, V8, TB, admin, sample files, sheets. And if I pop this open, this same path is here, but you do not see an Excel file. And that's because you don't have to have it there. It's going to create it automatically on the fly. Uh, so with that said, let's do it. Doesn't take too long. Only a, cu a couple of seconds at most usually to process any single file. And we are all done. And now if we choose Edit Database, it will actually open up the database. And here it is. And so you can see here, it shows the full path. These are some control fields uh, where, uh, you know, for us to be able to always find the file wherever it is. And let me just jump back. Now that you see this, you can, if I come back here, you can see that if I hover over some of these items, you'll see that they're tags. Tag, tag, and usually some of the most important are the drawing number and the sheet numbers. These are tags. All right, so now if I come back to the database, um, everything you see here, the label up top is the tag name, and then what you see below it in the column is the value. And specifically what I wanted to do, because this is just such a common exercise, is drawing numbers and sheet numbers. Now, the drawing number is already set up one through five, and that's fine. And if you come back here to the front, you can see sheet one, two, three, four, five. So the sequence is fairly obvious in that regard. But so what normally someone might want to do is say, well, there's five sheets in the total sheets. And then you say, well, I, what number is what? And you know, you're going to order it in sequence. So now you save this and close it. And now, of course, you want to write that stuff back to your design files. So we change this action here to update selected design files from database. And let's do it. And it's just plucking the data out of the database and pushing it back into the design files. Again, it's about one to two seconds per. And now you can see the result, one of five. And if I just open another one of these sheets, you can see two of five. And of course, you can do as many of these as, as you want. And these, uh, the tags in here, these aren't ours. These are just whoever's. It doesn't matter. You can use your title blocks that already have your tags in them. Piece of cake. And that's it for this video.